apart. Hello, everybody out there in podcast world. Uh, this is Matt. This is Barbie. And uh, we thought that we would do a little bonus episode. Um, so that you could maybe get to know us a little bit better if you want to. If not, you can run away. But don't uh, run away. But don't don't run away. <laughs> yeah. uh, but so we thought that what we would do is we've got an app on our phone phones yes. that uh, shows these just just different random questions, and we're going to ask each other these random questions. Um, and there the are four categories. Answer. There are four categories, yes. right? <laughs> uh, so we'll we'll each ask each other one from each category, and they sort of get progressively more in depth or harder. Uh, but we don't know what the questions are, so we're just going to kind of figure it out. Do you yes. want me to go first? I'll ask you. Yes. All right. You ready, Barbie? No. Because you're on the hot seat. You're on the hot seat. <laughs> I know. All right. All right. Go. Question one: Would you rather skydive or bungee jump? Bungee jump. Why? Wait. Wait. No. Skydive. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um. I mean, it'd be so awesome, like the whole flying sort of flying thing. But why'd I'm... you choose bungee jump first, though? Because I'm. I don't know. I, they're both, they both sound really awesome. But you'd rather skydive. I think so. I think that it's a longer experience of the crazy. And I'm interested in that. Yeah, you are interested <laughs> in the crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what is your favorite thing to do on a Saturday afternoon? This is, is like so easy. Mine was much harder. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, but it's harder for me because I don't necessarily have a favorite thing. I tend to like work most yeah, days. Like do. I tend to be like creating stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so Saturdays isn't really like a chill day for me, but I don't mind. Cause I like to do the stuff that I do. Uh, so probably a good Saturday afternoon is me, you know, recording something or writing something or editing something or whatever, and just, uh, producing creative art. Stop working, man. You work too much. Thank you. <laughs> um, second category. Yes. Would you rather live in a big city or out in the country? Ooh. Uh, big city. Are you sure? I mean, I do see the benefits. Tell the audience where, what, <laughs> tell the audience. <laughs> All right, fine. I, I do see the benefits of both, but I am from a major capital in Brazil, uh, 1.7 million people, people. And um, I like having access to all the fun things like awesome restaurants and easy access to like uh, movie theaters and being able to meet people all the time. And now we live in a small town and it's just kind of harder to get to stuff, you know, I, I don't know. I think five years from now, you will be completely changed. I think I've gotten you a little bit more liking of the more rural life. I mean, I do like both, but the big city is more convenient. You okay. Have, you have to give me that. I, I, I would give you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how do you want to be remembered? Um, I think like, you know, if I've got 20,000 albums. No, if I've got like whatever, <laughs> dozens of albums of material, um, a lot of writing, a lot of music, I'd, I'd rather people, I think people get to know me best by the music that I create. So I think I want to be remembered for that stuff. Hmm. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. It better be. It's, it's my remembrance. It I won't be here anyway. I won't even know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. You ready for uh, the next level? Yes. How do you react to stressful situations, Barbara? Um, I think I sort of internally shut down, but I put on a really brave face. (laughs) (laughs) Do you? (laughs) Yes. Not like a shocked face, a brave face. No, like a, like a, I'm, I'm strong and I'm dealing with this crap, but, (laughs) but it's, uh, it's, it's tough. Yeah. I, uh, all my stress goes to my shoulders. So like Hmm. I've got, I've got like neck pain forever. So yeah, that's what happens. Oh. Um, what is the most beautiful thing you have ever seen? Besides my lovely wife? Yes, she doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you she are correct. Me. You yeah. are correct. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know if this is number one, but it might be close. The Grand Canyon. I mean, everybody sort of expect, like, everybody said, oh, it's a tourist trap to me before we yeah. went there. Yeah. Uh, and I've been to like other Canyon places like Bryce Canyon, some places in Utah, and those are stunning too. But when we went to the grand Canyon and I saw for the first time, I was shocked at how beautiful it is. Yeah. I mean, it's grand. Yes. (laughs) But it's like, you don't, I don't think you expect it to be as grand as it is. No, the way, and the way we got to it was sort of like there was forest and road and you just sort of, you know, you think that you're going to see it from miles and miles away, but you don't. And then you're just on it. And this thing is like so gigantic and massive. I just thought it was yeah. stunning. So that I'd say maybe, maybe that. Okay. 
All right. Okay, Barbie Gummies, you ready for the, this is the toughest category. Oh, gee, yeah, I know. <laughs> How would you describe the meaning of life? Oh, seriously, <laughs> that's your question? In two words. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that's that's a, what I got. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't, the, the, I don't think about such things. You don't. I think that life is just like awesome and cool and make the best of it. And, um, yeah, that's what I got. You don't derive a lot of meaning from it though. I don't. I just want to like, I just want to like be happy and do the things I enjoy. And, uh, that's it. That's, that's what matters to me. Yeah. I like that about you. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Uh oh. How would you define love? Oh, see, we were in the same spot because that was the next question that I almost passed to on this one. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know, because I think there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of ways you could d- define it that that sort of encapsulates um, attraction and um, dependence, uh, like dependence on someone. I don't mean in kind of a sick way, but like, but in the, like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> well, like like teamwork and cooperation. Um, and I know that that's not a very romantic way to to describe mm-hmm. it. So I don't know. I think love is, is this like mix. It's this cauldron of, um, of, of physical and emotional attraction, um, to another, another being. <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, all right. Then. <laughs> I think I would need to, you know, I, maybe I'm not the most poetic right and right off the cuff like that. But, but you write songs. Well, yeah, but I think I think about those, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, you could say many things, but if you want to get into macabre and say, uh, say, oh, someone you'd die for, but you know, I I don't know that that's yeah. necessarily love because a small child who's in front of a bus, you might, you might try to push them out of the way, and you know, I yeah. mean, Barbara doesn't like children as much as I do, so she might not do that. But <laughs> but anyway, know. but like I don't know. So there's like there's uh there's sort of a bunch of levels, but I guess that's what I got for now. Hmm. Does right, that well, satisfy you? I guess. That'll have to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks everybody for listening, and uh, maybe we'll do another bonus episode in the future, right? Only Barbie? if you like this one. Well, who's gonna like it? Well, the audience. Well, I liked it. I mean, if we only like if it. the audience likes this well, how one, how will we even know? Well, tell us that you liked it. Tell us that you liked it. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, I screamed in your ear. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll talk to you again sometime. Bye. All right. Bye.